Hello and welcome to my video about how to make a good Geometry Dash thumbnail. As a note, this video is heavily inspired by Danny's video, but instead of explaining Photoshop, which costs about $20 a month, I'm gonna explain it for the free version, Photopia. For this just search up Photopia and then click on the first result, Photopia Online Photo Editor. Then click on new project and then this 1920 by 1080 and click on create. Then paste in your screenshot of the level. I'm gonna be making a windy landscape thumbnail as an example. Click on this text button, create a large box with a decently high size here. And write your title. Meets windy land scapes and windy landscape. Select all of it and choose a font. I'm using Almendra SC. Looks pretty cool. And then go on warp. So what you have different options, what you could do, like for example this, can't really see all of it because it's really big, maybe not that big, maybe, I'm gonna make it smaller, yeah that looks about right, but I'm just gonna do This 25% maybe. Yeah, okay. So if you show something that looks good, for me it's just this uh, shell lower. Duplicate the background right here. Duplicate layer. Ah, this is called background, but we don't use this. Uh, this one of the background on on it duplicate layer and put it like right on the top here hit control i release and then hit control u if you like if i go back uh, if you hit both at the same time uh, sometimes it just tells you you can't so just do that saturation down to minus 100 and then go on image adjustments and levels just make something that looks good yeah, that looks pretty good and now right click this and go on clipping mask now what you want to do is um, go on image adjustments and on gradient map click on here and now you want to choose your two colors uh, from the background. I'm gonna use this green with this yellow. Green is the darker color, so quickly pick this. I'm also gonna make it way darker because this uh, always looks good if this color is really dark. This use this bright yellow right here. So, as you can see, maybe I'm gonna do make this even darker. Yeah. Awesome. So, this looks really good. You can close all of this. And then click on here and move the picture around. Okay. Now, right click the text and go on blending options and go down to drop shadow right here. First of all, angle, I like to use 110, go on full opacity, um, have a low distance, maximum spread and also focus. Yeah, okay. So when you're done with that, 
go to gradient overlay go on reversed I like to have the first one reversed Just here click color dodge here click on this button go from click on this and here there's nothing to black and we're gonna change this to white okay so we're gonna have a high opacity 85% looks good now click on this plus have a second gradient overlay also uh, this guy is gonna have overlay color dot um here we're gonna choose back to white half opacity and this is not gonna be reversed so now go on outer glow this is linear dodge what about like 1% opacity test some things 60 oh that's a lot oh yeah wait outer glow is not white so that's like your main color this really depends like how dark this is it's down here is like too dark I might have to put Another gradient overlay with not having reverse. Yeah. Okay, so outer glow, then not too high size, maybe 25. With 20 opacity. Yeah, okay. And the next thing is gonna be inner glow here we are gonna use the white so what you want to use is color dodge like maybe let's try half opacity let's try 20 yeah that's starting to get somewhere okay so now just click on ok so you have all your base assets so now go on here, we have a new highest layer and select this brushing tool and go on a high size like 700 and put the hardness on zero. Okay, put the layer below the text. So just uh, click here. The behind the text now it's like a bit more in the foreground but it's a bit too much so I'm gonna put the fill down a bit so now it's still in the foreground but it's not like that obvious click on here and then here so you the new layer is actually the highest one and now I'm gonna add some vignettes so go to the edges Put like a little bit of black glow. Really good, give some good atmosphere. And now create another new layer, but drag it to so it's the second highest. And change this color to be again your main color. So in my case this yellow. Turn down the size to 300. And go here on linear dodge. So I'm gonna put one here. The N double I put one here. Yeah, so if you have your glow set up and make a new highest layer and pick the other color, so from the side, this green button, make it brighter, also make a higher size like 800 and add some glow here on the edges. Want 
dodge. Turn the food on. Turn it to like 80%. 70. Now another new layer. Um, size to 1000. Color to black. Go here on overlay. Put some stuff. Edges. This gives a bit more atmosphere. Okay. So this is turning out really good, but the glow still a bit too bright. Maybe too light. Forty percent. Now we come to the last step. Click on this round button right here. Go to exposure. Put the gamma correction down a bit. The offset up by a tiny bit. Go to like zero point. You won. Yeah, and you are pretty much done. Now all you need to do is go on file, export as then JPEG, then name it Windy Landscape. The quality right here I would almost set to 99 because you put it to 100. It's like two megabytes and sometimes YouTube says it's like too much and save it. Thank you for watching. Also shout out to Potato Obliterator. He gave me the suggestion to make this video. And I hope this helped you.